Hey, what's up everybody? This is VGC Extended. I'm D-Man and we are here today uh, playing solo, but uh, we're going to play, continue on with Super Mario All-Stars and we're going to go and we're going to complete where we left off in our last video. We're going to go to World 6 and uh, we're just going to go ahead and set ourselves up. Um, I'm going to pick Luigi. And we're gonna go from here all the way to how this game ends. So we are going through here and just we're gonna play just to show you guys. We're doing let's play, walk you through how the game. Um, if you notice in the Super Mario All Stars edition, that uh, Super Mario 2 has a really a different look, different background, um, looks a little more upgraded. Uh, I hope that when we do a segment on Mario 2 on the NES, you'll be able to see the big difference. So, uh, the one thing about Luigi is uh, he's got the, the long jumps. Sometimes they can be kind of out of control, but it's an advantage in some levels. So, each character in Super Mario 2 has a very unique skill. So, Luigi's is the, the long jump that he can do. He can jump much higher than any other player, you know. So. You know, you got Princess that can fly, you got Toad who's very quick, quick with his hands and speed, and uh, basically Luigi's talent is jumping. So, you know, and if you hold on to the B button, he jumps even taller. So, right now, just going through this level, it seems like Egyptian type level. Um, you know, you just go down, you know, these are little, I call them uh, pots. You know, there's something always special in them, so let's see, we got a turtle shell, oh, a heart came up, so let's see what we can use this turtle shell for. You can actually take it with you outside the pot, so, you know, this actually helps out, probably will help out very good, especially to complete. Um, in the last few video, last video we did on Mario 2, we actually had some difficulty trying to get through this level, so lately now I'm back to how I was. <laughs> playing how I always play and now it's just called trying to get through here and we are going to bypass this if you take this little beacon here there should be a mushroom right in and there it is right in front of the door uh, if you pick up these guys with the coins those will give you for bonuses so let's go ahead and let's complete this level uh, right now we're in a room with a bunch of pots and the question is which one to choose well I will be happy to show you it would be this one right here come on down you see a little sand sand down below just sit there and just dig you know and the best thing the advice to do is when you dig dig in an angle so that way the creatures don't necessarily drop fully down on you and also it's easier for you to get down so just come on down here because as you dig down you will find the key to the door and as you see there's the mask once you pick it up you're going to disrupt it and basically it's going to go after you until you drop the key so basically we just need to try to avoid them you can even drop the key if you need to just to let them go away but once you pick it back up he's going to start coming around again and he can come from any direction so here he comes and we got Looks like we're going to be facing one of the lovely dinosaurs. This one likes to fire, strictly fire. <laughs> so, my advice to you guys when you're defeating this guy, take these mushroom stones here and then just pick them up and just drop them here and make like a wall. It prevents the fire from breaking through. And then just come up and stand on top and just drop and then stand up, wait for him to come closer to you again, and then drop again, and then boom, there you go. And we got a heart out of that, so that helps us with our hearts down below. 
We have a few bonuses from picking up those coins. Let's see if we can pick up some extra lives. The best way to do it is you need the cherries or pick three of the same ones. So let's just see what we can get here. Hopefully we can get like three cherries, you know, but that's very rare to get. But we'll see what happens. So far, no luck there. So um, I'm going to pick Toad for the next level. So we're in World 6-2. Um, this one here is pretty simple. It's, you know, it's a nighttime level. And you got all these birds. Basically, you got to get on the birds. My advice is get on the, the tallest, the highest bird possible and just stay on there like this. Uh, hang on to this pumpkin because when you come up ahead, you got this fire throwing guy here. So you got all the stuff so far, not such a good advantage there being shrunk, but it's it's okay. Um, I wouldn't get off there at all because if you miss the bird, you're going to have a problem. It's going to be some challenges, but not as much. So basically, we're just scrolling through. It's one of these scroll through levels where there's really nothing much you can do. Just stay on the bird and just fly across. Right now, we just approached the ending here, and we got to battle that dinosaur again. So, right now, we kind of have a disadvantage because we have only one heart left. So, we're just going to come through here. Oh, just died. <laughs> See, that's the problem about being disadvantaged. Uh, I'm still going to pick up Toad. The reason I like picking up Toad, like I said earlier, he's very quick with his hands, so he can pick stuff up very quickly. So, if you. One of my biggest pointers I would do, guys, is I would pick up this one stone if you can and take it up on top with you. So that way, when he's right up above you, drop, drop. You already got two of them already. And then drop again. And then boom, he's done. So that's pretty easy to do. So, and we enter the eagle's head. We have no bonuses. So now we get to move on to level six world six dash three um if you guys don't know this little there is a little secret in this level to make it go very quickly so if you go up this ladder now what you could do just as an advantage come this way really quick with the beacon and just come on over drop it right there and try to hurry before pokey tries to try to get up there Ugh, died. There's a mushroom sitting over there on those cactuses. So the best thing to do is let's try to see. We, we could really use an extra mushroom to get an extra heart. So let's just do a quick pickup of a mushroom if we can uh, avoid the quicksand. The quicksand is always the toughest in this level. So, so just pick up quickly. There we go. And there's the mushroom. And then we go back in the door. You know, I, for one, gonna wait. And nope, missed him. So, but here's a good trick, guys. Against this wall, let let your let Toad or Mario, whatever character you pick, let him sink a little bit. And then there's like an underground tunnel through the quicksand. You keep jumping, keep pressing the jump button because if you don't press the jump button, he's gonna die in the quicksand. So. Basically, as you come up on the other side, there is a door. And the door takes you to these clouds, which when I was younger playing this game on the NES, I was always wondering what those clouds took you to. So now we found out, and I'm proud that I could be able to show you guys today what it does. So now we have a different dinosaur. This one throws eggs and fire, so gotta be careful. So, you see, there's the fire. So. We're gonna throw the egg. That was pretty easy, but we're not done yet, guys. We've got a, a boss to beat, so there we go. We're gonna be facing a three-headed snake. My advice on this, guys, is he, they're all gonna be throwing fire. So what you want to do is try to build a wall in front, and there you go. And then just pick up these stones throw them, pick it up again, throw, and then pick up again, and then throw again. So 
And then there's the, the good old door, the exit door to World 6. So I don't think we picked up any bonuses. So we're going to be in the final world. It's World 7. Um, I'm going to pick Mario this time for this one. And um, we're going to go through it. World 7 only has two levels. And unfortunately, there's no shortcuts in this. We have to get through it. So basically what you got to do, guys, is you got to get go to, go right. And then eventually you're going to have to go left. So um, right now it's just picking up. There is a beacon somewhere over here, but I think it's right here. But I think if you drop the uh, beacon up here is where you'll find the um, mushroom. So we're going to check it out and see if it's here. If not, it might be somewhere in the level. So looks like the mushroom is not over here. So, but it doesn't mean it's over. We can uh, come back and pick it up again. So there is another beacon over here. And let's see. We've got a mushroom. Pick, and we're picking up some coins here so we can have some bonuses. And we got them all, so that's a plus there. Uh, you can pick up these onions and just try to beat these, knock these guys out so you have an easier exit. Got one left, so let's try, oh, it didn't work out, so, oh, oh, what do we got to do? So, right now we're just going to keep on playing. Oh, there's a clock to help freeze everything, so that helps. So, let's uh, come over here. Drop a, let's see if the mushroom's over here somewhere. There it is, guys. So we have all four mushrooms. Um, right now it's all looking good. Just trying to get through. Well, actually, there's one big thing we got to do. We got to go back. Um, let me pause for just one second because I need to check something out. And, uh, okay, back to the game. Alright, so another thing you could do here is take this stone and put it up there to prevent it. But now what you gotta do is you gotta jump on a bird. You gotta go far left. So you're gonna keep on going. Going across. And we are sitting here. Okay, so now we gotta hop over some beams here. So far, so good. We're doing good. And then we gotta jump down here and we're gonna get into a rocket ship. It's gonna shoot us up to the clouds. There we go. So basically right now, we're going to go through, I call it, this is kind of a difficult process here. Um, I would say World 7 Level 1 is a little longer than the other levels, I would say. Um, kind of gotta go through a maze here. Um, it's kind of on the difficult side, but um, well worth it in one end, so um, so far so good. Not looking good right there. Um, okay, that worked out perfect. Um, oh boy, we got ourselves a little challenge here. Um, this is going to be a challenge. Never seen a star creep out. Oh, they jumped right up, which is perfect. So we are going to, oh, just died. So, <laughs> well, the good news is guys will be able to continue. So um, we're going to be right back where we were uh, when we got up here. So at least we got all four hearts ready. So we can actually use that to our advantage. Um, we're going to need them later. So, but yeah, basically you just got to get through this. These little cloud things is almost like a maze. You know, and it's it's kind of difficult. You know, you gotta sit here and walk through this and all this stuff. We got this little one here you want to destroy. Got oh, at least we got a heart out of it, so that worked out good. You know, we want to throw that guy out. Um, have Mario bend down because when he lights up, he actually jumps a little taller. Then you climb up, and we gotta go through some clouds here. It's just once you go up, there's no way coming back down, guys. So. The best bet is to just get up on top here and and then now you gotta sit here and gotta smash up these guys so they stay out of the way. And now this thing is completely, oh perfect. 
So now we're just gonna stack up these blocks right here. Come right up. You can even ride these guys that are on the ladders. It makes it so much easier. Um, looks like now we're at the door. I think we're approaching uh, one of the uh, dinosaurs again. And this is the one that just fires all fire. So the best thing to do is pick it up. Just shatter it the best you can. At least we got through it. That's pretty awesome. So now, oh, we got two cherries, so that gives us two lives. That helps make up for the lives we lost in the first level. So let's see if we can get some more lives because this next level will be the final level of Super Mario 2, and we will face what would be known to all you guys as Bowser, but in Super Mario 2, he is known as Wart, and he doesn't look anything like Bowser in this game at all. And that's one thing that was amazing with me when this game came out. I was like, oh wow, two more lives. Let's see if we can get some more. Well, at least we got six lives to have. So, um, on this one, I'm going to choose Mario, you know, for this one. This is the final level, World 7, level 2. Um, this is going to be pretty amazing. Um, if you guys have watched our Mario Maker Monday uh, playlist, uh, on the Super Mario Maker, I actually made this castle, Wart's Castle, and it's almost just as similar to what you see here right now in the in this segment. But uh, if you check that out, you can check us out on Mario Maker Mondays and just look at our playlist. And um, as you can see, it, there's two ways to go. I like to go this direction. This direction to me is more easier to do. Um, and we are coming through here, and we are just going to... Oh, I just died. <laughs> it's going to be a challenging. Um, you're most likely, there are two more mushrooms around, but the route I'm going is only going to be one. At least we don't have to start at the very beginning. We can start where we left off. So that's pretty cool on that part. So um, be careful on the controllers when you're playing with the Super NES controller, because... It seems uh, very sensitive. Uh, Mario, some of the characters, it can be kind of hard. You just gotta adjust it just right. So. And, oh, I just died again. So, I'm glad we got those extra lives. So, we're gonna continue with Mario. And we're gonna see what we can do here. It looks like we are continuing. It seems like in Wart's Castle, we're able to leave off where we died, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, at least we don't have to start at the very beginning of the level, you know, it's, and see, like I said, the controller is very, it's, the Super NES controllers are very sensitive, so, um, you just gotta make sure that we run through this, that was perfect. Now we're just gonna continue going up. Uh, when you get to this part of the level, guys, um, stay to the left, because this is where you can get a mushroom. So, if you come through here, go through this door. My advice is just drop down, drop straight down, and then go down this line to this door, and then be careful which one you pick. Pick the one on the right, like I just did, and then come in here. Um, there's the mushroom. That's definitely going to be a benefit when you face wart. Um, now we get to go back up that ladder, and we got to see what we can do here. Um, these guys, very hard, just destroy it, now we gotta climb back up the ladder, be very careful on your controller because it is sensitive, you don't want to have to fall all the way back down again, let's go through the door, now instead of going down the chain, just bend Mario down until he lights up and does a power jump, and then just sit here and just now it's going to get difficult. We have to get back up. Now we got to be extra careful because, <clears throat> you know, we... Uh, there we go again. Uh, this is the challenging part because you have to get around these guys. You have no objects to destroy them. So it's like this. Oh, we just died. Um, that's probably a good thing because now we have three hearts. So let's continue with Mario. Hopefully it leads us right off where we were which it does. So we can go back up and 
now we got to figure out how to arrange ourselves to be able to not fall on the edge, which we just did right there, which is nice. Uh, we just got hit. Uh, hit again. Not good. We just got to continue on. Uh, died again. This part is challenging because we're getting very close to wart, so it's going to get a little challenging. And we're gonna try it again. So do a wait till you do, it lights up. Do a power jump. Come on up through here. We're going to. You gotta time it right. And if you don't, you're gonna mess up, and then you're gonna have to do it all over again. And every time we lose a heart, it's hard because then we gotta pray that we have a heart that shows up out of the blue and helps us, you know, fill up because there's no nothing from this from this mul from this position forward. There is no way of uh, getting big again. So, <laughs> um, you know, so you got to, now we got to be extra careful what we do. And it's basically, we just got to time it. Ah, died again. So now we just got to keep trying. We're actually down to one life. So we got to make this count. So uh, I've always been known to be good to, when I'm down to just one life that you try to make be as careful as possible. So the plan is simple. I'm looking to time it just right. And our goal is to just get up to the top. So, oh, just didn't do good there. So we are having a problem. I don't know if we're going to be able to time this right, but we've got to try. So at least there's no time limit on this, but, you know, oh good, one disappeared, which is helpful. Um, we just need to time this right. Some people have asked me if Luigi might be the best person for this. Possibility, he, they could. So we're going to continue. Okay guys, so we're right back here where we got the uh, mushroom at the door. We were having some difficulty on this part. Let's see if we can get through this again. We need to be able to... So far so good. We have three full hearts. Now down to two. But we're still doing okay. We just gotta get through this part. So if we can get through this part here, we should be... Nope, we just died. Okay, so we're doing okay, but we just got to. I think we're gonna go with Toad this time. Although, although I personally think I should have gone with Luigi because he has a longer jump, but Toad is pretty quick. So let's see if we can get through this whole thing without going through some heartaches here. The thing is, is it's called trying to between a slow moving... Okay, that was a good jump. Alright, so we finally did it with Toad. I don't know why we had such difficulty with Mario, but we did it with Toad. Alright, so now we're in the final stretch, guys. Uh, let's hope we can get a heart out of it, but so far no good, so... Right now we're just bending, you have to keep uh, being careful. Uh, we gotta get to that door down below, but of course we gotta fight for a key. So, so right now we're battling this dinosaur for a key. Gotta be careful because he throws fire as well. There's the key. Let's go. You can take the key with you in the door. And we just barely, barely made it. <laughs> Alright, so we got the key. Alright, we got in. Alright, so basically we're here at the entrance to Wart's, Wart's area, so uh, my advice is have these blocks, stones ready to go because we're not just going to be able to go just right in just yet. This guy's coming in to attack us. Looks like we're going to be starting off, ugh, we just died, and then the door opens. So at least the good news is we get to start right back up, but I'm going to go back to Mario and we get to start right back up to here. So. At least we don't have to go back to where we were before, so... Alright, so now... <clears throat> let's, uh... Conduct this battle. And... It's amazing... 
what you have to do. Oh, we managed to hit it. That was interesting. Okay, so we're in Warts, Warts, <laughs> Warts Dungeon is what I like to call it. Uh, this is a little different, guys. Uh, see these little horns here? Basically, all the the vegetables and all the objects are coming up. We gotta pick one up. My advice is to stay right here and wait for that horn to shoot one and pick up an object. And the whole goal is we gotta throw it in his mouth. So you gotta time it just right. You know, you gotta know when exactly he's getting ready to open his mouth. And right now we're just gonna keep waiting patiently for an object. We almost got one there. And let's just keep going. Here we go. We got an onion. We got to time it right. Nope, we missed. So we gotta wait again. So we gotta keep on waiting. Let's see what comes up. And it's just one of those things where you have to be patient. Um, just sit here and boom. Alright, so I think we have to do it like seven times. So, so far I think we got two down. So we gotta go for a third. Um, there is a way to pick up from the center horn, it's just gotta wait patiently. So and we got a third. We got a third. So let's see. Now let's go for a fourth. Uh, we gotta go and I strongly believe I think it's seven times we have to throw objects in his mouth. So uh, I guess all this stuff here is considered poison. So let's just do it. Alright, we got the fourth. Now let's go for five. Let's see what we can do here. That's very interesting. You can see how Wart is in this game. Um, so he's not known as Bowser. So this is not Bowser at all. So, alright, we got five. Oh, nope, yep, that was this. So we gotta keep going. Sometimes it looks like he could be it, but I, I think it's seven, but could be wrong, but we'll see what happens. So we're at five, we're going for six. So we got an object. Let's wait patiently. Looks like it's six. Alright, so we got him. Six. It takes, guys, to defeat Warped. Alright, so now we're gonna go in here. And it looks like we did it, guys. Mario's here to release flying children. Who knows, who knows what they really describe, but this game has really had no similarity to the original Mario Brothers at all, and I think that's why a lot of people don't really count this game as part of the Mario series, but I always respect it. Even in Super Mario Maker, there's a few objects that are in Mario Maker that are from Super Mario 2, but uh, as you can see here, it shows how many times you've used each player. We didn't use Princess at all from this part, of, uh, from World 6 on, so... But just between World 7 and World 6, we used Mario, Luigi, and Toad the most. So, And basically to find out in Mario 2, it sounds like this whole game was just just a dream to Mario. So, But basically that's the end, guys. Um, Mario sits here and sleeps. He wakes up briefly, and uh, then he goes right back to sleep. And it's uh, quite a touching ending, you know. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity because I bet a lot of you guys out there are wondering what were the uh, names of the uh, creatures in Mario 2 and it's actually going to show right here. So I'm going to add to time. I'm going to let this thing roll. But until then guys, thank you so much for your support in VGC Extended. Uh, this is a really good segment on Super Mario 2 that's on Super Mario All-Stars for the Super Nintendo. Um, you know, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as we keep on going through segments on all kinds of games from a variety of consoles. Make sure to like us on Facebook so you can stay up to date as we load more videos and we even put them on our Facebook page as well. But until then, guys, I'm going to let this scroll for you guys to see the names of the creatures. But this is VGC Extended, and I will see you next week when we discuss more retro video games.